The technique that I really use all the time as I prepare my quilts is using a pin basting process. Now, very specifically, because I am machine quilting, um, I am using a safety pin process. Those of you who are hand quilters, um, you would be used to hand basting those three layers together and it works great to hand baste when you're working with the, the hand quilting because you can remove those hand basted um, strips and pieces of thread along the way but with machine quilting they get in the way and so I find that with the safety pin process that I will go ahead and use that and I then can remove the pins much more easily as I arrive at them at the machine. Now, again, finding just the, the right ones. There are, of course, various sizes of these, pin, these safety pins, but I like what is mainly, it would be probably about an inch and a half, um, and I'll maybe just kind of hold that up here against this dark, but I use that inch and a half basing, or safety pin. There are these really large ones, and you think, oh man, these could be really good, but they're, they're, they're not necessary. It's sort of like overkill working with them, and they do leave some large holes in your fabric. So I don't want to use that really large but um, there is sort of this basic model of this one and a half inch and then there is what I guess I call the Cadillac model but they are very specifically um, a, a basting pin and you'll see that it's just a little crooked there and part of the idea is the fact that as um, I pin the little crooked aspect of that actually comes right back up on the top of the fabric and so it's easy easy to use so now just a rule of thumb if you're pin basting a uh, maybe a twin size quilt you're probably going to need at least a hundred safety pins so again just to give you kind of a, a ballpark figure of what how many you might want to have and then you can work from there in relation to your particular project mm -hmm.